Does Rawls' theorem apply if yes, find C? So we have a function and we're given an interval and we're asked if Rawls applies and if it does, we have to find the value of C. Let's go through the conditions uh, very carefully. So before we do that though, let me just briefly show you what this graph looks like because it'll help us do the problem. So x to the two-thirds by itself looks like this. It's a cusp. Okay, so this, is this little piece here is called a cusp. It looks like a little bird. <laughs> um, and it's not differentiable at zero in this case. So x to the two-thirds minus four is a cusp and it shifted, it shifted down by four like this. Okay, so this is what the graph of our function f of x looks like. So step one is to check that it's continuous. So the cusp is certainly continuous. There's no holes or breaks. So the first condition in Rawls is satisfied. So f is continuous on negative 27 comma 27. But the second condition of Rawls is that f has to be differentiable between negative 27 and 27. But right here at zero, there's a cusp. And we know that whenever we have that in a graph, the function is not differentiable. So f is not differentiable at x equals zero because you have the cusp feature, that, that sharp jagged edge. So Rawls theorem does not apply. So no, it does not apply. Uh, a more proper answer perhaps would be f is not differentiable on the open interval negative 27. That would be n another way to explain uh, the second condition. So you can't use Rawls. If you wanted to check the third condition, we could. Let's go ahead and check it. The third condition is that when you plug in both of the endpoints, like negative 27 and 27, you should get the same result. So let's see, negative 27 to the 2 thirds minus 4. Let's work this out by hand. This is equal to, so you put the three in the pocket, the negative 27 goes here, and the two goes in the outside. That always works. You just always take this three and put it in the little pocket, and then minus four. Or you can use the calculator. The cube root of negative 27 is negative nine, is negative three, <laughs> rather negative three, uh, squared minus four. So there we have nine minus four, so we get five. Boom. Let's do 27. F of 27. Same thing. 27 to the 2 thirds minus 4. Same thing. It's the cube root of 27. Kind of fun showing all the little steps like this. Squared minus 4. Cube root of 27 is 3. So 3 squared minus 4. So 9 minus 4 which is five, right? Beautiful. Most people don't really show all this work, but you could do it by hand, right? And they're the same. So the third condition of, of Rawls is actually satisfied. So just for fun, so the first condition checks, the third condition checks, but the second one fails. Uh, so you cannot use Rawls. So Rawls does not apply, so you cannot find C. So we're basically done with the question. Kind of an interesting problem. That's it.